Hello and welcome to today's video. Uh, we are looking at today how we can make a square clock face uh, using light burn. I have done a video before using the circular ray tool to make a circular clock face. Uh, this is a little bit of a different proposition than using the circular array. We're going to be using a different tool, which is the copy along path tool. And uh, I'll show you how we're going to do that. Let's get started now. So to start with, we're going to need our clock face. So I normally will start with a square that represents the line on which the numbers are going to be on. Make that a line. So this is not going to be the outside diameter of my clock eventually, but it is going to represent where I want the numbers to go. Because I'm going to have the numbers sitting on the line here. So I've drawn my square, of this in line. Um, so I'm going to take the square and first thing I'm going to do is convert it to a path. So now it's a path. Uh, next thing I'm going to do, I'm draw my centre point here. I'm do that. And then I'm going to use select both. Then use our um, centering tool here. And that's now dead in the centre of that polygon. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our variable text tag here in our tabs and load in the clock CSV that we've created previously. And so we've got that loaded up. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to add in our variable text. And as we know, percentage zero, um, pull the text, and I normally like to just take the opportunity here to put the text on a different layer. I'm going to drop that down in size a bit, there we go, and I'm going to just select that text and the square again and center that up. Next I'm just going to move, well before I move that I'm going to show you um, a little bit of a trick about this uh, copy along path tool that we're going to use today. So, up here we've got our grid array, circular array, and copy along path. We've used the circular array to create the circular clock before. Today we're going to be using this function, copy along path. Now, it's pretty intuitive. So, what you would do is you'd pick the uh, variable text, pick your shape. Then you'd go arrange and go copy along path. Now when you do that, you get this dialog box come up and it's going to default to four copies. And you can see they're quite nicely centered around the perimeter. Which what happens though when I start increasing the number of copies to 12. Remember these are going to be our hour markers, but we want 12 of these. And you can see we start getting these numbers all over the place. And it's just not usable. Something is not quite right here. I'm going to show you how we fix that. I'm going to cancel out of that. And I'm going to bring my text. Just uh, oh, before I do that, I'll just click on the square here. And I'm going to go to our nodes editor. Bring that up. You can see we've got our four nodes here. And I'm going to click on I with the uh, mouse hovered over the center line. And I is going to insert, you can see, insert a node at the midpoint. So this is in the exact middle of this top line. We then go to this tool here. This is the set shape start point. If you click on this, you'll see this arrow down in the bottom right hand corner. And this is kind of the beginning of the shape. If you think that there was a, if you were to draw a line in the shape of a square, this is where that line begins. And this seems to be the thing that throws off that equal distribution of the numbers. So with this tool selected, 
if you click on our new midpoint here, and that line and the arrow, sorry, has to be facing uh, clockwise. Okay. And that's now going in the direction we want. Okay, so this is what you want. So now, if I select our text, and I'm going to bring this down now just onto the line, select our clock face, uh, arrange, copy along path. Let's see what happens now. You can see we now have a much more agreeable alignment of our hour markers. Test that. Oh, I did forget. Mark this as a merge file. So let's just do that again. Copy along path. And now we've got our numbers where we need them to be. So if you then want to, you can do the usual uh, marker placement. So with the minutes, let's lock that on the Y axis, bring that up here. And again, let's go arrange, copy along path, and we're going to need 60 of those. So, very similar to you know, what we did with the circular clock. There we go. Take that in and decorate as you would do. So that's how you make a square clock. Um, let me know if you find that a useful video. Um, like this video and subscribe. Until next time.